Greetings everyone, my name is Dr. Sunshine, and welcome back to Breath Edge. Now, in the last episode, we got a lot of exploring taken care of. We went over to what can best be described as like a mayo explosion area, as well as a, like a, a field of defense cannons that are just active. So we explored all over there, we found a lot of goodies, a lot of schematics, blueprints, new stuff to craft, and... I noticed when I was editing that there was a spot that I didn't check out over there, uh, that right there. Now it could very well be something that I could just straight pick up, um, but I'm not going to go right back over there. I think I'm going to make the soil analyzer first just in case it's just another you know pocket of mayonnaise that I have to scan. I think for now we're just actually going to head back to our home base mainly because we have a lot of stuff in our inventory to kind of unload and also use for some of these new things that we can craft. So we're gonna do that, reassess our inventory, what we've got, and then I'll probably make the soil analyzer. And once I do that, I can head back to that area. Oh, well that's new. I guess I haven't traveled all the way on above the the tunnel. We haven't been in this, have we? I don't think we have. We'll have to... Well, actually, let's just take a little peek at this. This could be very good. Could also be very bad. That's a lot of cooling. Let's see what the narrator says, if anything. Because there is something here. We do have one more now candle. Now we can see why there's oh. so much cooling gel near the shuttle. This is a tank with cooling gel from the outdated nuclear reactor cooling system. There is no data about such systems being on the liner unnamed. Something is stuck in the cooling gel. Or someone. In any case, it's impossible to break it. What? Where? Where is he talking about? Someone or something. Well, there is this. That. Oh, maybe it's this. What are you? Oh. Yeah. Is there something? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, heat. Ugh. The cold. The cold is bad. Okay, can we get into this? I mean, that's cool, but I don't think we can do anything with that. I wouldn't touch it without having a degree in engineering. If I were you, I wouldn't touch anything, even myself. Uh, okay. Well, it looks like just a few supplies in here, but it's just way too cold. I'll take another quick look at them. Maybe I can get close and grab something. But this area is freezing. Okay, do you have anything? I can't interact with them, so maybe... Ah, oh, I, I have no idea what we're going to need to melt that. Ooh, but we have to get out of here! It's too cold. Go! Yeah, okay. Alright, well, we'll go back to our base. Oh, home sweet home. It's good to be back. Feels like forever since we've uh, been back here. Okay, um, what do we need for the soil analyzer? Four batteries, four electronics, and two magnets. Wow, I, I don't know if we have any of those. I don't think we do. That's going to be an issue. But we can always scavenge around. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need just a lot of electronics, uh, some magnets, titanium times four, in two inductors, two compensators. I think we have inductors, but I don't think we have compensators. We also don't have generators. We're going to have to make some of those. The infinite handy scrapper, we need four plastic, four wire, four titanium. We could probably do that. 
steering wheel. Three of four. So it's showing it to us, but we just we still need to scan one more steering wheel to know what we need. What what is it going to be for? Do we need it to put into the car? Like we're going to have to assemble five different pieces and then put those pieces together into a vehicle? I don't know. Okay, generator and compensator. Let me just see. I think we have the inductor, but I don't think we have compensator or generator, which means we're going to need metal, electronics, alkali, wire. That shouldn't be too hard, but we need two of them. And compensator, we just need... We just need alkali. Oh, and of course I have to drop off... Well, I tried setting these down before. It didn't work out well. So I'm just going to chuck all of these grumpies on the floor. And just call it good. And sorry, Chuck, but you're going to have to be dropped on the floor as well. Where'd they... Oh, hey, perfect. They're all... <laughs> What a collection. Uh, okay, well, we can make one compensator. But now we are we have to go on the hunt for more alkali. I only had one. Well, as far as I know. I haven't checked the other container. Yeah, we're, we're without. What a mess we've got here. Oh, well. Well, I'm going to go search around then. The usual scavenging mission. I'll be right back. Okay, I believe we have enough now. We can at least make the infinite handy scrapper. All right. I think this will replace all of our handy scrapping needs. Okay, let's... Uh, I don't think it's truly infinite, but 999 is going to last a long time. Huh. I didn't even notice. It's got it's got Chuck on it. Yeah, so that's why it's infinite. Just his presence makes it that much better. That's how it works. That's science. Oh boy. Okay, I collected a handful of things. I figured I'd stop and maybe build a couple things in here. Uh, fun fact. The handy scrapper, the infinite handy scrapper, is actually infinite. I was hitting around with it and wasn't paying attention, but the durability doesn't go down. So I literally don't need any other handy scrappers now that I have this, which is so good. I don't have to bother carrying extra on a journey. I can just carry this one and save the space. I want to build a water dispenser. There is something here. Hopefully it actually is functional. Because that way I don't have to go around for ice. So I am gonna I'm gonna make this. Where where will I put the kitchen? Let's uh let's extend this out actually. We'll put a corridor over here. And then another habitation module. And this will be our kitchen. It's a weird design. I'm I'm gonna stick with it. So we'll have the kitchen be here, but we can't make it just yet. I don't think we have the... we don't have the, the parts for it. We have it, we just have to go grab it. So, yeah, I'll, I'll go do that really quick. Okay, kitchen. Easy enough. We'll put that right there. I wonder what we can do with this. Does this... Change right prepare? Nutritious goo required. What do we... Oh. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. So it'll make it for us. It's basically like one of the, the crafting tables. We can just do it here? I don't know. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's get that water dispenser, though. All right, I hope that's facing outwards. And confirm. Okay, can we actually, can we do anything with this? It's just here for decoration. I know it said decor, but oh, I was hoping I would actually just get free water. 
Dang. Well, I suppose we could. <laughs> uh, I don't want to fetch more, but I, I might have to at some point. Right now I'm fine on food and drink, but I could probably go to the communications area where there's a, a dispenser and just get a ton of water that way. I think you can get honey out of it as well. But that'd be a good way to go. Could we make a bedroom, maybe? Like, if we go... Hmm, where would we go with this? Maybe off of the kitchen. Go this way? Oh, we need more metal. Easy enough. I'll get metal. Ooh, it is dark in here. Do I need... I think I need more power because of all these compartments. Uh, so solar panels? Do I need to build solar panels up top? Solar panel. Mmm. I'm going to have to make some of these. I need lead. I've got lead. I've got it. Okay, solar panels. Let's put one. Um, or do I have to put it on the side? Maybe right here? And then we'll put one on top. How many of these can we make? Just one less. So we're just gonna, let's put a ton on here. Hopefully we don't need lead for anything else. I think that'll be famous last words. Oh, is that all we can make? Yeah, that's all we can make. But we have power again, that's good. Okay. Put this here. This will be our bedroom. Roll of fabric times two, titan- Okay. I have fabric, just not roll of fabric. I can do that. Oh boy, that's a lot of back and forth. Okay, let's make this bed. Let's put it right here. Show me a bed. Oh yeah, yeah, that looks good. What? I was hoping there'd be storage up here, but it's just a bed. Fine? That's fine. Can we make storage? I don't think we have any storage. Could be wrong. Okay, well, we. I think we're done crafting for right now. We got some things made, but uh, that's just a lot of resource. Resource collection and basically using up everything that I already have for other, other projects. So let's just focus on uh, making stuff. Stuff like, ooh that also the oxygen cylinder would be good we need two more compensators and two generators I think the main things we want to make the blaster would be cool the main things we want to go for soil analyzer the accelerator and the oxygen cylinder now I think some magnets are hanging around I haven't picked up a ton We'll check in this area to get those. Electronics are all over the place, so I'll get that easy enough. And I think the batteries I can make, I should have enough alkali. Uh, but in the meantime, I'll get this research. 20 minutes? 20? I didn't account for that. I didn't know. It'd be nice if they would say how much you need. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. It's not making enough oxygen. We're gonna have to look into that. I didn't realize that the base wasn't making ob oxygen. I thought we had power for that. Do we need to make another oxygen generator? Ugh. Okay, uh, well, let's, let's look at that. Oxygen generator is there. Okay, I guess we need another one. 
Inductor, aluminum, and titanium tends to... Uh. Okay, jeez. Oh. Okay. Made the another oxygen generator, although the power is now out again. Great. Uh, one thing after another. But... Yeah, I, I just spent a ton of time collecting resources because it was just back and forth on uh, getting what I needed. And look at that. I mean, we only have five more minutes on that, which is good. But yeah, I, I've been trying to get the necessary materials, one for another oxygen generator, which I guess we need more solar panels now, which... Uh, I, what's the right balance? Because <laughs> as soon as I added solar panels, and maybe it's just adding extra rooms, I didn't have enough oxygen then to support it. But again, I was collecting a ton. I made some generators. And I'll have to double check and see, because generators was part of one of the, the research items, but I'll have to double check on the soil analyzer. I believe it needs magnets, which I've got. Uh, electronics and batteries? So maybe I just need more electronics? But I'll check that really quick. Uh, first let me just see... What am I missing for solar panel? Lead. Lead, um... I mean, I could go back. And maybe I'll go over there to get lead. There is some over that way? But it's... About the same journey either way. It might even be shorter going this way. Let's double check with this. Maybe we don't need <laughs> any lights on in here. We have enough power for oxygen and we can make stuff. Okay, four electronics? I could do that. So what I'm thinking is while I wait for this to finish up, uh, only about a minute and a half left, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to get the... Uh, soil analyzer started. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It might be another 20 minute uh, 20 minute download, but I want to do that. I could do this as well. It's just a matter of I don't know how much time it's going to take. I'm hoping it's only like a five minute um, thing or maybe even more instantaneous like some of these others because it's I believe tied to the story more than some of these extra things that allow you to explore. But we'll see how much time it takes to get that going and then decide from there if we want to quickly get like the cylinder research but beyond that I think before we go out and explore I'll empty my inventory after that and then we will go with the soil analyzer if we can make that out to that area with the mayonnaise and start checking that out okay it's complete and soil analyzer, please don't take 20 minutes. Five minutes, perfect. So I think with that five minutes, um, I think I'm gonna go over to where we found the, the paint and lead and pick up some of that. But first, I'm gonna make an oxygen candle. Ooh, two inductors, I could make that. I just need wire. Always with wire. Oh boy, trying to find wire is not that easy. Just in perspective, in the amount of time I got sidetracked to look for wire to make the oxygen compensator, this completed. So, well, we got that now. I do want to make, or not that, wait, what? We, we were looking for the jet accelerator, right? I am so confused at this point with the amount of things that we can make. But we do want to make the oxygen cylinder. We're just really close to making the jet accelerator as well. Well, we might as well see what we need for the soil analyzer. Electronics. Oh, we can make that. We can absolutely make that. So we'll be able to go out and explore. I would like to... Hmm. Yeah, we need some of these candles. I would like to get the lead. 
to make some more solar panels, but maybe we'll do that on the way out to check that mayo. I think that'd be a good use of our time, so we're not going back and then going out. That way we're just going out in that direction and then gathering as much as we can. Well, I managed to get some more wire searching for the electronics that I needed, so we should be able to do the soil analyzer and hopefully we can make the jet accelerator as well because we need two inductors we got one we just needed another one sweet jet accelerator oh oh that makes it worth it that was a lot of gathering so let's just throw that on okay We'll put this away. Wow, we <laughs> we need space. We need a lot of it. Okay, whoa, what is going on in here? What what happened? Is there any What is this? Oh we need oh we have gum. We have gum. What hit it out here? Give me that gum. Oh, we have to equip the gum. Plug that. Okay, perfect. That. That's great. Can we just repair this? Okay. And. Clean. Scraper. Oh. Wow. That's, uh, that's something. Okay, well, we need a bit more to make the oxygen cylinder, get it researched. We'll bother with that next time. There's no point in us going crazy here trying to craft everything in one go. No electricity. Well, crap. Okay, well, I was wanting to make that in the kitchen, but I'll have to make it back over here. Okay, so we made some food. Made some water. Let's dump off this stuff. And I will see about making just a couple more oxygen candles. And then we'll go out and collect some stuff and check out the mayonnaise field again. I think that will be fantastic going out there. All right. I took care of preparation for the journey. We'll go get lead uh, when we go out and check out the mayonnaise. We'll just stop in that area or stop on the way back. Same with the, the water. We can get a lot of that from the communication station, but for now we're fine. I made batteries. I made a little bit of fuel. Cleared all this space out so we can pick up stuff that we find out there. I want to go explore that. I'm done gathering materials right now. That will always be a necessity, but for now, we will go back out and check that area. Let's just fill this up. Good. Should be enough for the journey. And we're off. Oh, well, it's quicker going above the, the tunnel. I guess we really don't need to go. Hold on. We haven't been over here, have we? We haven't. What a strange place, but maybe we can find something useful here. Ooh, please tell me this is something. What is that? What am I... Enhanced flashlight? Well, that is a big flashlight. I don't know... <laughs> I don't know if I need that much light, but... I'll take it. Oh, wait, do we... We already have that, don't we? But we don't have it on us, but we have that. Well, that was... That was pointless. Damn it. There are some question marks around here. That's a turret. Too many military personnel per square kilometer. It's definitely a sign of trouble. Yeah, it probably is a bit of trouble, but hey. I'm gonna check it out regardless. If there's loot, I'm getting it. Uh, that's just, it's like, materials. Maybe something in there. 
Like, uh, whoa. This is what you're in. Be careful. I don't know what he was going to say. Crap. Can we get to this side? What was that? Oh, we're being shot at. So that's what it does. It's not a one hit. But it will hit us anywhere? Where were we getting hit from? Where were we getting hit from? Oh well. I hope there's something that we can do about those turrets because there's areas that are right by them and I don't know what we're supposed to do about that. Maybe we have to destroy them. Like make the blaster, shoot them out. Maybe we can get the car with some like turrets or something. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, yeah, what is this? Can we, can we get inside? Let's try and get close at least. Someone clearly oh. overestimated the value of the mayonnaise, allocating an autonomous tank for it equipped with an auto flight system. Although considering our situation, it's a great opportunity to launch it without any problems by fixing one of the engines and disengaging the tank for the module. That that's our that's our solution. We just have to do that. But how do we One of six engines can six engines? Okay, well that's good. Uh, hopefully these engines are all here. We got two. Where's the rest of them? How do we replace? Maneuver engine require. Okay. I guess we have to scan the six to then craft one to replace. Oh, okay. Okay. We got more. We got more. I hope we won't need that. Small modern engines can do without burning fuel, which is much safer. Igniter? Well, that's cool. What's the igniter for, then? Oh, there's an engine. We just need one more. Where's the last one? Don't make this hard on me. Okay, there we go. Oh. Well, it's unfortunate that we didn't do this first hand. Oh. Oh, just scan it. Six of six. Okay, maneuver engine. So we have a maneuver engine now. Well, we have the blueprint for a maneuver engine, I should say. And that's going to be our goal, I guess, moving this entire thing and shooting it towards the core. I just want to be sure that there is not a way inside. You can try to repair the bracket, but since you will destroy it during the repair process, it will be easier to break it beforehand. What do I have to break? Oh. Can I do so? Grenade or blaster required. Oh, geez. We are, we are opening up a can of worms. But at least we know what we need now. Well, while we're here, let's scan some of these. Or analyze Nothing it. Nothing of interest. Nothing, okay. Can't be on the first one. I figured we can at least scan some of these and see what's in them, but we know we need to make an engine and blaster or grenade. And with any luck, it will shoot itself to the core. Nothing of it. A very odd composition, but oh. apparently this mayo doesn't want to freeze. There's also no danger to the spacesuit's material, but I'm not sure it's reasonable to stay here with such visibility. In addition, the composition's density prevents you from moving quickly. I don't... Nothing of interest. What? Oh, we can go inside. Oh! I didn't realize we could go inside Nothing here. Of interest. Nothing of interest. Uh, let's scan them. A frying pan. 
The lack of cheap, tasty space food forces people to conduct culinary experiments which are strictly prohibited on spaceships. You can try to pick off some pieces of meat, but the fate of the chef does not quite inspire to do that. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's... Oddly enough, the death resulted from an acute allergic reaction to an unknown substance. The Breath Edge Funeral Agency strongly recommends using only approved food products in order to determine the cause of your death more accurately. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize we could actually go into these. That changes things because, like, I think over here... You can go... we can go into this one. Oh, jeez, why didn't we go in here? <laughs> a magazine with attractive girls and sticky pages. It's better not to touch it touch it without a spacesuit. Although, even in a spacesuit, it's not recommended to do so. Okay, what's the narrator going to say? Seems like it's not mayonnaise. Oh. <laughs> Some refined metal, more oxygen. The oxygen's really good. Oh, jeez. The things that... It's like... I come back to these areas and then... I find stuff that I didn't think I could interact with. I'm still amazed that I can go into these. Okay, well, we definitely have to go into here. <laughs> Judging by the paint stains, the owner of the underpants was pushed from behind. <laughs> Who did it? Why did they do it? Where did they push the owner? And how did the underpants get separated from the body will remain a mystery forever. Oh, I was hoping he would say something. Well, I'm not seeing many other mayo, uh, mayo balls to go into. Because there is that one, that one... I went into that one up there. Yeah. These are the brackets mounting the tank to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start, or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here. Oh. Okay. So. Solids detected. Oh, so that's <laughs> that's how we figure out where Seems we're supposed to hit. the bracket without getting your hands as well as other parts of your body dirty will be impossible. Repair tool required. We got a repair tool. Oh. Well, I think we have to break one, but we can deal with some of these others maybe with the mail? Or with the... We can deal with it with the repair tool? Okay, where are the rest of the brackets? Oh, it's these. These are the brackets mounting the tank to the module. You'd better find them all and detach them before you start, or at best, all this debris will spin and be torn apart with the tank right here. Oh, come on. Okay. All right. Well, we can... Oh, we're, out. we're running out of oxygen. Um, should be able to get the three of them, and then I have to make the blaster still. Yay! Okay, so that's taken care of. We just need the third. Did I see this guy before? I don't think I did. Well, free water, that's cool. We know we need to make an engine, we need to make a blaster or a grenade. I say we make the blaster if we've got the materials for it, and I think we do. Whoa! But I think that'll do it for this episode. I'm going to just head back, grab some lead and some water at the communication station on the way back to the base. So I want to thank you all for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you saw, please be sure to hit the like button down below, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode when we're back at the base. I'll see you then. Bye now.